went through the, uh, sat through the three panels and did the introduction and heard uh, economists and attorneys and, and Rebecca Hansen from the FCC and uh, Preston Marshall, who sort of takes the PCAST approach of uh, giving the big picture. Do you have any shifts in the way you were thinking about uh, uh, the incentive auction? Anything that important That's came up? You should have some passion well, you, for that. Yeah. First of all, yeah. Marla, so, uh, uh, I want to congratulate you on putting together this uh, wonderful panel. So thank you, God, for leading experts in the field to kind of uh, give their views on the legal aspects of the first auction, the evaluation aspects. Of the um, I don't know if it, you know, certainly there were little issues that I hadn't thought about before and that caused me to go on hot, and it, uh, it also reinforced a lot of views that I also had going into it, uh, such as this is extremely complicated, uh, what the Commission is proposing to do, uh, and uh, it's something that broadcasters and wireless players for that matter are going to have to invest a lot of time and careful thought before they, they come into that. Yeah, I mean, my uh, one kind of uh, takeaway from our last panel was this whole idea that this is new for the mobile carriers as well. Yes. They've never had to get their head around uh, giving other thing other than just straight blocks of geography. I think that's right. I, and actually, you hit on something that I was alluding to but didn't really want to go into a lot of detail at the very beginning, which is um, having the wireless carriers and broadcasters sit down. And it does beg the question, of, well, you know, why don't we just decide the rights and, and let one private party sell to another private party? The Commission isn't going down that path. They want to have this reverse auction, uh, which they've never done before, and to have the government stand between the willing buyers and the willing sellers and, and sort of be the exclusive real estate agents for all of this. Um, and, and there are reasons the Commission wants to do that, I, and I understand that. Uh, but uh, on each of the panels, there was some discussion at some point in time about the, the difference in the way that broadcasters look at this from the way that the wireless carriers look at this. And uh, ultimately, uh, the question is, how do you get the spectrum from those broadcasters who actually would like to sell to those wireless carriers who actually would like to buy, how do you do that position one? Yeah, I, and I think it's not really been teased apart yet well enough. That's uh, kind of my real takeaway from reading the NPRM and, yes. and then sitting here today. You know, we, I think we have a long way to go in terms of getting a, a final order. I, I think that's right. I think the discussion about the auction being in 2014 is really extraordinarily optimistic. I think it's going to slide beyond that. Yeah, well, you've been there seen the inner workings. Nothing happens sooner than it's planned. It can always slide to later, but it never <laughs> happens sooner. All right. Well, we were really glad to have you. It's my uh, pleasure. It's an honor to have you introduce the program and to participate.